What's going on YouTube? Kevin here with a video review for the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder, an affordable, portable, and easy to use audio recording device. Before I begin this review, I just wanted to say that Zoom did not send this out to me for review. I bought it with my own money, which raises the question of is it worth the retail price? Let's take a look at the review and find out. The Zoom H1 features dual microphone capsules that are configured in an XY pattern. This is to capture spacious stereo sound with natural depth and accurate imaging. Each capsule records with a cardioid polar pattern, which means that the H1 will only pick up audio that's directly in front of it. The left side of the Zoom H1 features a line out for zero latency monitoring as well as volume buttons to control the output volume of either the monitor or the built-in speaker. The left side is also the home of the micro SD card slot where the H1 writes its audio recordings. The right side of the Zoom H1 houses the majority of the buttons needed for its operation. There is a mini USB port which can be used for transferring files from the H1 to your computer. With the newest firmware update of 2.0, you can also use this USB port to use the H1 as an audio interface for your computer. Aside from the power and hold switch, the rest of the buttons are mainly used for playback controls. There is a delete track button along with the previous, play pause, and next buttons. The input level buttons are used to control the input gain of the built-in capsules or any external microphone connected to the line in port. The bottom of the Zoom H1 has three switches, one for enabling or disabling the low-cut filter, one for turning AGC on or off, and one for changing the file format for your recordings. The back of the H1 also has a plastic quarter-inch thread for tripod mounting along with a compartment that houses the AA battery. The top of the Zoom H1 has a singular button that starts and stops your recordings. The backlit screen also gives you valuable information such as levels, time, sampling rate, and remaining battery. There is also a small LED light below the capsules that lights up when the H1 is recording and blinks when your audio is clipping. So if you haven't already, I strongly suggest that you switch to HD in 720p, and the reason is because when you switch to 720p HD, it actually does enhance the audio just a little bit. And this is the part where I'm actually going to be testing the highest quality audio that can come from the Zoom H1. And even though I've been using the Zoom H1 for the whole entire voiceover for this review, I just wanted to say that that wasn't actually the highest quality audio I could get from the Zoom H1. I was using it as an audio interface which means that the sampling rate or the bit rate had to be a little bit lower because it can't obviously output that much through a USB cable and still maintain a good amount of quality. So I had to drop the sampling rate or bit rate um, and that was compromising the sound a little bit. But this is recording directly onto the Zoom H1's micro SD card. The bit rate for this is 96 kilohertz per 24 bits. This is the highest it can record in this format. I'm using this as a WAV format file. So early in the review, I mentioned that you can actually change the file format that the Zoom H1 records in, and the second audio option is MP3. Now the highest sampling rate that you can get from an MP3 file on the Zoom H1 is 320 kilobits per second. So in theory, this should be pretty high quality. I don't know how YouTube is gonna compress it. I don't know how it's gonna sound when it's on YouTube, but this is what you would get if you're using the Zoom H1, recording directly onto the micro SD card, putting it through a video editor, exporting it, and then throwing it up on YouTube for the final compression. The Zoom H1 retails for about $100, but you can find it cheaper on places like eBay or Amazon. Now, what do I think about that? Well, for the audio quality that you're getting, I think it's a great deal. Even though it's technically not a microphone, you can still capture very high quality audio, especially if you're on a budget. Now, considering that it also includes a micro SD card and a battery, that essentially means that you can buy it pick it up, and then you can just go on and record right away, which is very handy, very nice, and very convenient. So that wraps up my video review for the Zoom H1. Again, Zoom did not send this out to me for review, but rather I bought it with my own money, and I think it's a great deal. It's one of my favorite pieces of tech gear that I own. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and buy this, there is a link to Amazon down below in the description. Just go ahead and click on that to find out more and to buy it if you so wish to do so. So thanks for watching. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video.